everyone. Our lesson today is about ratios. This is an introduction to ratios. Write each fraction in simplest form. 12 over 40. How do I simplify this fraction? 12 and 40, they both share a factor, which is 4. I will divide both uh, numerator and denominator by 4 to get 3 over 10. So this is the simplest form. 25 and 44, the greatest uh, factor, the, great, the greatest common factor for 25 and 45 is 5. They are both visible by 5. So I am going to divide both by 5 to get 5 over 9. Which fraction above has the greatest value? 3 over 10 or 5 over 9? 5 over 9 is greater than 3 over 10 because 5 over 9 is about 55 hundredths, while 3 over 10 is only 3 tenths. Learn and talk. Have you ever had Lucky Charm cereal? Are there more marshmallows or oat pieces in a box of Lucky Charms? Predict how many marshmallows pieces are one in, in one box and predict how many oat pieces are in one box. I'll give you a hint. There are almost 2,500 marshmallows and oats all together in one box. There are 287 marshmallow pieces and 2,583 oat pieces in one box of Lucky Charms. We can write this real world situation as a ratio, which is a comparison of two different quantities we can write a ratio in three ways. We can write it as a fraction. We can write using the word to, and we can use write it uh, using the column, the two dots above each other. Write the ratio marshmallows to oats. So I'm going I'm going to make a comparison of two quantities in three ways. So I, I can write it as a fraction, 287 over 200, 2583. I can write it using the word two, so I have 287 marshmallows to 2,583 oats, or I can use the column between the two numbers. Write a ratio comparing the number of people to the number of pizzas for each picture. In the first picture, I have only one person and I have four pizzas. I'm going to write a ratio, a comparison, using three ways. How are the ratios above alike? And does the order matter when writing a ratio? Yes, of course. The, uh, the uh, order of the numbers, uh, the order of the number is very important because if you change the order of the numbers, you will change the order, you will change the situation. So if you write here one to, to four pizzas, you cannot say four persons to one pizza. It will be totally different. So these two uh, ratios are different because if you want to compare the number of persons to the pizzas, in the first picture you will say 1 over 4, and in the second one there are 4 people but 1 pizza, so 4 over 1, so there are different situations, so that we have different ratios. The, now let's compare the number uh, of lions to the birds. I have six lions, so let's write a ratio to represent the number of lions to the birds. So I have six over one. I can use the word two. I can use the fraction, as you see here, six over one. I can use the word two, or I can use the column. Over the summer, Christian kept track of time spent on different activities during his summer vacation. These are the, uh, the sports or the activities, and he, these are the, the hours that he spent in his vacation. So there is a relationship between the, uh, the activities and the number of hours spent on these activities on summer. Write in simplest form the ratio of biking to running. Look at the biking. Yeah, let's write it as a fraction. How many hours did he spend in biking? So I'm going to write 8 as a numerator. And uh, running is as a denominator, which is for uh, 16, 14. Let's simplify. 8 and 16 they are both divisible by 8. So the answer is going to be 2 hours playing basketball.
Let's write in the simplest form the ratio of Christian's time spent running to total hours of activities. Let's write the fraction. To find the total, of course, you need to add all the number of hours, all the numbers to get the total number of hours he spent over the summer. So remember, the order is very important. So here we started with the time spent for running. It will be the numerator, and the total number of hours is going to be the denominator. Uh, running, um, he spent 14 hours divided by or over 50 hours if you add all of these numbers. Now, 14 and 50, I am going to uh, divide both of them by 2 since 2 is a common factor. So the simplest form is going to be 7 over 25. Let's explain the meaning of this ratio. This ratio means that for every 25 total hours he spent on activity, he spent 7 hours only for running. A ratio is a comparison of two different quantities. We can write the ratio in three different ways. Ratios can be written as a fraction. The order is very important. Using the word two or using the colon. Complete the following problems, then move to the next slide to check. I want you guys to simplify these are fractions 35 and 45 of course i can simplify them if i get the greatest common factor 35 and 45 they are both visible by 5 divide the numerator and denominator by 5 to get the simplest form let's look at the ratio here or the fruit we are going to write a ratio as a fraction in the simplest form comparing Peppers to pineapples. How many peppers are there? One, two, three, four. So it's going to be four over. How many pineapples? One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can pause the video, guys. Copy this to your copybook. Try to find the answers. Then check in the next slide. Yes. So these are the. This is the answer key. So as you see here, we are using three ways or. Um, uh, to write the uh, ratios, we can use a fraction, we can use the word two, and we can use the column, the two dots. Here are some examples, more examples. Pause the video, copy the answers to your copybook, then check. So you need to write a ratio in three ways to show the relation of dimes to quarters. How many dimes are there? 12. So 12 over 6. Then you simplify. Here also in this table, it shows you the type of book and the number of books. And you need to answer these questions. Find the ratio of mystery books to uh, fantasy books. The mystery are 10. So it's very important, the order, guys, as I told you again. So it's 10 over the fantasy books are 6. So 10 over 6, then you have to simplify, of course. This is the answer key. Make sure that you got the correct answers. So today we learned how to write ratios in three ways using a fraction, colon, and the word 2. And a ratio is a comparison of two different quantities. It's only a comparison. The order is very important when you write the ratio according to the statement that you have or the situation that you have. Thank you.